Hello friends, uh, welcome to Jojo's Azure Learning YouTube channel. So today's video, we will be talking about how the end user and the client is going to connect to Azure WVD uh, virtual desktop. Um, so I have one user and client how uh, once you assign the uh, virtual desktop, everything is set up, how the end user and the client is going to connect. So we'll talk about that. There is a two ways they can connect. They can use the uh, HTML browser and also they can use the uh, client. So we'll I will talk about that. Um, so I just uh, logged into the Azure portal now, and uh, you, I'll show you my setup here. So uh, there is the Azure WVD. We have the host pools, and there are two host pools are I can see here. One is a finance host pool, and one is a host pool one. And um, it's both host pools are personal. Host pool types are personal. That means the each uh, session host in the host pool will be assigned to each user. So I'm just uh, going to show you the host pool one. Once you go in there, you can see there is a one virtual machine. Uh, this one is ready to connect and you can see the status is available. So that means it is ready to connect by the user. And you can also see that the user assigned user is test at who And um, okay, well, before assigning to a uh, user to a VM, uh, we need to add that user into the application group. So if you go into the application group here and um, see, you can see here, here, manage, and then you can see this is already added. If you want to add another user to it, you just have to go and add here. And then uh, for example, this one, uh, I'm just going to add it and you can add it. So it is uh, successful, it is added. If you refresh, you can see that one. So there is one more user. That's the way uh, we need to add the user to once this is added, you can assign that into the VM as well. So this is added now. And uh, if you go into the host pools, and again, you go into the session host. And here, you can uh, add, you know, remove that assignment and to assign money to and assign the user and you can assign the new user we just added. Or you can uh, have one more session host and then that that be added to the another user. So both ways is possible. So in this video, we'll focusing on how to connect. So the test user, test at hoodhardservices.com, he'll already assign ready to go. And then you are telling the user, uh, you can access the WVD. So what the user needs to do? So you can, you can actually go into uh, two ways to connect. Uh, first way you can do is, um, you can go to the Google and then you can just search to connect to WVD, right? Uh, WVD or AVD. AVD is Azure Virtual Desktop. And then the first one comes up is connect to Azure Virtual Desktop with the remote desktop client. So click on that. You can see here the connect to Azure Virtual Desktop with the remote desktop client for Windows. That's the preferred method. So you can, uh, uh, there is an install remote desktop client, subscribe to workspace, and then you can connect to the desktop or application. Um, there's two more uh, Windows Insider next steps. So once you go into this page, you can see uh, these all the uh, supported, uh, supported devices uh, versions of Windows. Uh, we just need to have internet access and then uh, it can be Windows 11, Windows 10. Uh, Windows 7 is uh, support is ended. So here you can see that desktop client installer, Windows 64 bit, that's the most common. Um, so you just have to uh, download this software from here, click on it, and then uh, it's get downloaded to this one. And they can go in there the folder or you can, um, uh, can just double click and install it. It's a very uh, easy uh, one, one or two minutes process. Just next, accept the license agreement. Next, and again, if you want to, this is just for one my device, uh, one user. First, whatever the user I logged in, or you can install it for anyone uh, use this machine. Install it, and then uh, press S, continue. Uh, it's finished. That's it. So once you finish uh, launch, uh, uh, it's saying there is an option to launch. You can launch it. Okay, so now you get this one. So first step here is uh, to subscribe to the to the workspace. Um, so you go into subscribe, and you just need to give the user uh, username, email address, and password. Woodhards. dot com. So it will ask you the password. One thing to remember, if your password is expired and uh, you are trying to log in, you cannot log in. You need to reset the password first using a self-service password reset or you can go to office.com and um, you can actually reset the password. 
but here it will not allow you to reset the password so so just okay so next at this time it will ask you if your mfa is um, enabled uh, it might ask you to so it want you to set up uh, microsoft authenticator app so i want to use the microsoft authenticator app so next and then it'll ask you to scan the uh, qr code on the um, authenticator app so you need to open the authenticator app from your phone and then once you sign into the authenticator app there is a plus sign you can there and then you can say work or school account and then you just have to scan it once you scan it it automatically get added to uh, account will be added to the authenticator app i'm not able to show you this uh, yeah but uh, once you once it uh, it will be added to the authenticator app and then you you say next and there will be a six digit code will be shown in that uh, so you just have to put that code in there this code will last for 30 seconds so just put that code in there to verify this is a multi-factor authentication success done So it is trying to find the workspace associated with it. So it see the session next desktop. So if you go in here and the, the host pools, uh, I install, this is the host pool one. And then you can see the um, application group, host pool one. Um, and also you can see the, where it is connecting to. So if you look into the uh, uh, application group here, um, we go to the application group here you can see that there is a workspace it is going to connect to host pool is host pool one and then workspace so the workspace is the um, one it is connecting to uh, first it will initially connect and then it will go it will show you that you can uh, so wh that's what you see here on the uh, remote desktop connection so you see host pool one and then host pool one you'll see a session desktop so you just uh, uh, as an end user you doesn't need to know but i just want to see show you this uh, host pools and then host pool one and then you can see the application group application group inside there is an application so that application name is a section desktop so that's why you see it in the remote desktop client you see a session desktop so you, you can actually change this one into uh, whatever makes sense to you so uh, I mean, as administrator, can change anything. In general session host job, we can say um, uh, uh, sales finance, put finance offshore or something. Uh, something makes sense, so they they will understand. So basically, uh, let's say if I change the display name, save it. Uh, I save it to finance. Uh, display name is a session desktop name, same, but display name is finance offshore. Okay. So going back to the uh, remote desktop client. So you see that it is a session desktop. If you refresh um, here, you can just refresh and it will be changed to, um, the name will be changed to Financial Offshore. So it doesn't matter, whatever you see it in the Financial Offshore here, you click on it. And uh, once you click on it, it will connect you to the remote desktop. And it will ask you the password. You can also set to remember. So it is connecting to the actual uh, the, uh, AVD. Let's see it's logging in. So it's good. So it is logged in. It's uh, ready to go. Um, so you can install, if you have the admin privilege, you can install a uh, uh, application that you, what you want and uh, you are uh, you are ready to ready to go. Uh, this is the one way to connect to, to the uh, virtual desktop and they can log out. And this is the uh, preferred method. And once you're logged in, the administrator actually see can see who logged in also, right? When you go back to the Azure portal, and then you go into host pools, and then host pools and session host here. Um, the session host, you can see the users who is connected. <laughs> see, it's active, session two. And um, and he can also log you off from that, notify users also, you can do provide. Restarting in 10 minutes. So there'll be a title and then you can um, just you can give that, send it. Let's see what happens. So that message, you can also send it to each user saying that, oh, restarting 10 minutes. So user needs to be log off. And uh, once they log off, they will can save all the 
work they have done otherwise uh, they can send you any message from there all right so i am going to log off from here or i can also force uh, force to log off from here as well so i can say that uh, log off users he is successfully logged off so that means uh, it is disconnected all right so it's it's uh, that's the one way to connect the another way to connect is to have used the just a browser you don't need to go into the download the client but if you go there is a uh, web client here web client details and then he can see here there is a url it is given and that is a uh, uh, you can copy the url this is the most common uh, don't use the classic one that is obsolete that is no more uh, anybody is using it so you can take this and put it in just um, try to connect to the workspace so same thing it will ask you the password so login and then you get the same uh, finance offshore uh, application here and under the host pool one uh, allow this is also connecting to the again just uh, give one more time but i prefer uh, mostly i will uh, recommend to use the uh, client so that's why it is always uh, connected you just have to click um, that is a preferred method uh, so it is also connected um, all right so when you go in there you can still see that uh, users are connected now uh, if you go to the host pool search can also see here total session is one and go back to here users is connected session id you could have a different session id and um, it is also uh, connected so that's another way to connect and uh, one troubleshooting thing is that um, you can just uh, log, log off from here and um, one thing that uh, sometimes you can uh, it doesn't allow you to just do and uns unsubscribe and then you can also subscribe with the URL. So unless they it doesn't work with you, subscribe with the email address. You can do the uh, workspace URL. So that is also you can just uh, this is the rdweb dot Microsoft API M discovery. So just put that one in there, and then you can uh, next. This will also get you subscribe to. You still need to give the username. So this also will uh, will uh, allow you to log in. So in case it uh, doesn't work out, uh, email address is not working. This is another way to sign in. Thank you guys for watching. This will uh, this will uh, conclude how to connect to uh, Azure Virtual Desktop using a client, thick client, and also using a browser. Thank you guys for watching.